Yeah. Gen Z's are scary. You are scary. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to Sunday Club. We are the Sunday Squad. What's up, guys? It's Rio from Japan. I'm a model here in this country, in the Philippines. Hi, I'm Isa. I'm a stand-up comedian representing the Philippines. Hi guys, it's your Korean best friend Jin Ho, YouTuber, and also a singer here in the Philippines representing Korea. <laughs> <laughs> I just recently quit my corporate job to pursue comedy. So I guess I get a bit of the freelance life and full-time job. And I really noticed a difference of corporate before and after the pandemic. Like, I feel before the pandemic, it was more, it's a bad term, but abusive or exploitative. Because you're forced to go to the office five days a week. And it's hard to avoid overtime. Especially, I came from advertising. It's <laughs> notorious for having overtime work that you may or may not get paid for. The pandemic, when people learned, oh, we could work at home and still do the same work. Like, offices, I think, adjusted. There are more hybrid setups now. Like, you can do your job from home or from the office. You're not expected to go to the office. From a Korean point of view, mm -hmm. you were like, oh, we had to go five times a week. For Koreans, I think that would be like, it's an obvious thing. Mm. Do you get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pre-pandemic and up to this day, I don't think there's like hybrid set up in Korea. Oh, up to okay. now. Does Korea have bad traffic? Because that's well, a consideration. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think that's the difference. Yeah. The transportation. Because I don't think... to go to work Yeah, I don't there. think Koreans... Kite rush hour, even if it's rush hour, I don't think Koreans would spend two hours on... Yeah. You know, Oh my god. Yeah, I don't yeah. miss going to the office here in Manila. <laughs> Sometimes you're more productive at home. But you know, like, I've been an employee mm -hmm. and I've also been an employer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, that's easy for the employees stand yeah. to say. But as an employer, employer. <laughs> who is paying you to do things, oh. I understand both yeah, sides. Yeah. How about yeah. in Japan? How is work culture there? Like, basically, same as Korea, I think we both have like workaholic culture, right? But Japan is more crazy about workaholic culture. We work, you know, every day, so hard. That's why, you know, the pandemic changed the culture for good way. I think, mm -hmm. you know, the remote work is, you know, it proved, right? Remote work is better. working, yeah, yeah, better. Remote work works, right, for us. But like, I've heard something. I have a friend from Korea. Surprise, I have a friend. I have a friend from Korea. And then she said she used to enjoy that remote working from home until she reached a point where she wanted to start going in the company again, office. Yeah. I said, why? Why would you want that? And she told me now that she's working in the house, her sangsa, her seniors in the uh, office think she's always available so now even when she's home she doesn't feel like she's at home and there's no boundaries anymore yeah for japanese you know we are kind of outgoing person say so we mm -hmm. don't go out a lot like you make work a priority yeah that's why you know some office workers miss like going to the office because they don't have any opportunities to go out. That's your social yeah, that's always, life already. Yeah, yeah. Do you consider work friends friends? No, yeah, like, I, I, I think yes. it, it also like depends. We met through this project, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So on the creative so world, we well, <laughs> oh, oh, no. you. I think it's easier for me to make friends in the creative world, but mm. in corporate world, I don't know. For me. Sometimes the work friends become your friends for life because you go through such a tough time. You trauma bond. <laughs> you have one thing to complain about that bonds you. <laughs> I noticed the change when I went freelance. I don't have the same people every project. You don't get to bond as much. Yeah, let's pretend we didn't go po bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I think I had more work-life balance back then compared oh. now. Because a lot of people think when you're a content creator, ah, mag ano ka na, mag post ka lang kalokohan, tapos bigla kang may advertisement. Guys, honestly, weekend don't feel like weekend to me. Like, you know, corporate workers would be like, ah, oh, ang oh, tagal mag Saturday, Sunday. Which yeah. for me, it's the same. same. You don't have weekends or weekdays. Yeah, Saturday, yeah. Sunday, it's either we're thinking of a content or usually dun yung mga events, right? Mm -hmm. Work, work, work. But I, I just think what's important is like to balance that out. Mm -hmm. is just try 
enjoying the process. Mm -hmm. It's not something that society needs from one person. Because I know that so well, I don't take this job for granted. For me, it's you know still the beginning. Oh, okay. I just, just started this career in this country just mm -hmm. six months ago, mm -hmm. five months ago, something. That's why I'm gonna encounter a lot of you know difficulties from now on. Mm -hmm. But I think you know my friends gonna help me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> No, my you're on your own. Good. Just touch it. God. Yeah. That's when I realized when I started having friends work. who become content creators or I meet new content creator friends. They're one of the hardest working people I know because on screen, their life looks so glamorous. But really, yeah. most of the time, they're editing. I have a friend who is like a lifestyle and fashion creator. We help her sometimes when we travel out. Like even our trips as friends, it's work for her. Can I be honest? Yeah. I try not to do that, but I'm yeah. also like that. It's just natural instinct. Yeah, like when something now. interesting <laughs> happens, instead of like living the moment, I'd be like, camera, camera, camera. <laughs> Shoot this, shoot this. Couples, you know what's hard is when you're a corporate worker, mm -hmm. you please your boss, right? That's true. But when you're a content creator, the entire netizens your are your boss. Are your they have the right to say your, what you're doing is right or wrong. They can say yeah. whatever you want. they want with your look. I'm very grateful, mm -hmm. but it's just I'm letting you guys know mm -hmm. what's yung ugly side. Because people, people only put out the beautiful side on social media, yeah. especially the content creators. You get it? That's like they would post cars and luxury bags and stuff. Hindi nila alam 36 months installment yan. So yeah, I just want to be very realistic to Gen Z's out there because I'm sure like, yeah, it's becoming yeah a before a content job. creator was a content creator. You know, mm -hmm. not everyone could do it. Now, with all the social media outlets we have there and sobrang daming creative Gen Z's, you know, mm -hmm. Anyone could be a content creator now. That's true. Right? Just just from a click of a phone and you get noticed that you're a content creator instant, mm -hmm. right? So I just want other Gen Z's out uh, there to know that it's not gonna be always beautiful. Stop. Yeah. To answer your question, aren't you your own boss? And mm -hmm. maybe, yeah, that is correct. But then, yung mahirap jan is, wala kang maaasahan. Wala kang maaasahan. You can't rely Kundi, on yeah. anyone. You cannot be like, employee like, oh my god, I did shit. Yeah, oh, well. You're on your own. As long as I'm not fired, I'm getting paid. Yeah. But when you're your own boss, you get pressured. You don't know where to get the validations from, if this content is worthy enough or not. Or is this just funny for me? Is this relatable? You know, you go through that da -da 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 -da, like that, you know? How about for you, Rio? Is that the same thing you go through? Same as Jinho. But you know, the good thing is, like, I can decide the priority for everything. Sure. For What's us. your priority? I'm always work. Work and my dream. That's my priority. Love or work? Work. I. I thought you're great, lad. <laughs> For me though, since I am sort of in the middle, I'm not full-time content creator, but I still am freelance. I like having control over my own time. That's the biggest thing that I like after But is it the corporate also life? Sort of content creating. It's just it you don't do it on camera, that's yeah. all. Yeah, right? sometimes I do, but at least there's a line, you know, because my work is event base, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I go to a show, that's work. But when I go home, <laughs> it ends there. There's no work hours for me. It's unpredictable. Like a show can go on or a hosting gig can go on for hours that I don't have to stop. <laughs> but I just make active steps to like, okay, on this day, I will turn off no tips. Because sometimes, you know, there comes a point where because there's no line to when work ends, that sometimes even Instagram makes me anxious. <laughs> I, I feel like what you know the biggest difficulty or struggle content creators have is we usually don't have the right to complain because our job uh, we are being chosen we don't choose our job the jobs choose us so it's like sometimes you just want to be like oh my god you guys suck like why would you do this to me and walk out yeah. I mean, although there are some celebrities who do that now, but we mm -hmm. all know that, you know, those stories. Yeah. But like when you're a content creator, no matter yeah, how much they abuse it. you, and you're like, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Rio, like, what would your advice to our viewers? How should they do, you know, work life balance? Have your private time or like free time mm -hmm. as much as possible and please spend that time with your, like, mm -hmm. just, like friends. Family. Consider rest like work, you know? Mm -hmm. That's what I like, how I do, I practice now. When I say rest, it's a responsibility na to rest. Yeah. One yeah. advice my friend gave me when I was still struggling to mm. balance, like finding rest. If you don't give yourself a rest day, your body will decide for you. Uh. So, 
better just set time to rest before it takes a toll on your health, guys. In Japan, practicality. In the Philippines, for families where you're responsible to be the breadwinner, you're always pushed to be, be practical, be practical. Think of your family, think of your brothers and sisters who still have to study. But compared to other Asian countries, like Filipinos are... Like they allow more people to pursue their passions, no? First of all, guys, yeah. like who am I to give you guys advice? I'm still <laughs> in that process of figuring it out and proving myself that I've made the right decision to my parents, I'll be honest. It was an easy decision, obviously, growing up in a really strict Korean household. Mm -hmm. So when I told mom, I said it with like confidence. Yeah, but I think your parents are just concerned if you will succeed, if you choose the passion route. But you know what? There are a lot of jobs out of passion that actually like make money or like will make you feel secure. And I agree with that. I was the same because at some point I would decided that I don't want to be a corporate slave. I'll die in this office. There are people who could adjust to that. Yeah, there are people. And I, I just can't. Same. I think personally I'm not made to be a corporate executive. Once I proved to them that hey, I could. This this could be something. Although I'm the same with you, I'm still I don't think I've proven to them enough yet. But just have to prove to them enough that I can survive in this job. It's fine. How about you, Rio? Did you have to explain to your family? Actually, you know, in Japanese culture, kind of have to pursue like practical yeah. job, gig, yeah. and work. But for me, yeah, same as Jinfo. Like if I follow that kind of things, like. I'm not happy. Same. If you guys are following happiness despite of, you know, yung kulang sa pag Chiching. You're so brave for making that choice. We want to applaud to you. But then if you're also if you're not, we also applaud you for, you know, nakinakaya mo yan. Like, yeah, cool. whether that be for yeah. yourself or for your family, that's a really really difficult thing to mm -hmm. do. Kahit puro pansit kanton man yung family. <laughs> yeah, like, it's still a privilege. Hi guys, it's Jin Ho and it's your green rat Gario. So we're both content creators as you guys know. And here in my hand is the Xiaomi Pad 6. Six. As you guys can see, super sleek on design, so thin. Mm -hmm. And you know, as a content creator, uh, we have to be inspired. We have to do a lot of researches. Yeah, true. We have to see a lot of contents. And mm -hmm. also, we have to edit our own videos. Photos as well. Of course. And we have to organize our schedules uh -huh. because our schedules are not regular. Right? True. Yeah. Sometimes we're so busy, sometimes mm -hmm. we're not. And yeah. that's why we have this pad with us here, which could help us in our work, but not only work. Yeah, in our free time, we use this for like chill you guys could just bring this to your bed yeah and watch. just watch TV youtube there. Yeah. tv youtube i watch you know his youtube channel his, his TV. live yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways like you cannot bring tv with you inside the bed so that's mm -hmm. why you have the tablet super gun it's very light you know yeah very let me, light let me have it okay. oh it's zero gram diva this is zero gram. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, guys, so for all the working students out there, if you guys just need that one device to balance your work and life, you know, you know where to go. If I may be honest, this is what I noticed with Koreans. It's not from my experience, and I grew up here in the Philippines. My answers are only based on my relatives or mm -hmm. friends that I have, you know, I made here and now who are now back in Korea. I I, I noticed their work life balance is how do you say this? It's also a competition in Korea. Ah, yeah. I see. Like how much you earn, you don't post that, right? Mm -hmm. But you can see that and you evaluate that based on how they rest on their rest days. Yeah. Like I'll give you a good example. Let's say, oh Jinho, Jinho is having a vacation. Oh. He's in Palawan, El Nido, right? And you have your friend. Oh, he he's in uh, Barcelona for yeah. two weeks. Di ko binamalit ng Palawan, but realistically, yeah. if you compare the price, it's a flex. Yeah, <laughs> and they talk about that like, oh, is he? Hey, she went to Barcelona for two weeks. You mm -hmm. get it? She did a Europe tour. Imagine, so imagine how much she earns. So that's where I feel like, oh my God, grabe sa Korea, pati yung bakasyon. Even yes. resting is a competition. That, and I think that's what I love about Filipinos. Because like for Filipinos, rest day is just you going to Starbucks with your relatives or your cousins huh? or your friends. But for Koreans, rest day is like you need like a picture of a five-star hotel with a low-key flexing their Chanel bag and diamond ring. Oh, it sounds it's, like... 
still working. I mean, not not working, <laughs> but you know, just just for social media, right? Yeah. I think for me, the last day is just you know, yeah. On the bed. <laughs> ah. Eat McDonald's. Your rest day is like literally rest, rest day. day. Yeah, I don't yeah. Know. For Filipinos, rest day doesn't necessarily mm. mean spending money, going yeah, to luxury going place, down. or like eating expensive food. It could be just home, not yeah. thinking about work. Doing laundry. Yeah. Watching Netflix. But I think for work-life balance in Filipino culture. I think you need to show that, oh, I can still have a love life. I can still have a social life. Uh. I could still, yeah, go on vacation, like going on trips. I have none. But like, <laughs> I think those are the top three things that like show that you have work-life balance, that you're not doing work on a weekend. What do you do on weekends? Or shows like, or like, on weekends. Like when like your rest, rest days, because we don't have weekends. What type of things do you do on your yeah. rest days? Eating dinner yeah. with my friends, sleeping, sleeping. I like doing nothing. <laughs> my rest day, I try my best to like do something that's not related to work, but then I fail pa rin. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm like, cause I'm a coffee lover and mm -hmm. I'm like a dedicated, uh, how do you say, like explorer of different cafes. Oh. So I would go there, oh, but then I end up like, I end up You're like, bringing up your phone. I think, I think this is good for my social media mm. noise picture. No, you, that's you that's it? something you have to turn off. I know, right? I'm like, I just, uh, diba? never in my life have I just had a single coffee and just leave. This is what all my friends told me. We would meet after three months or five months. Mm. But when we go home after meeting up, we don't even have a picture. That's how much yeah. fun I have. That's like, a sign of a good. Yeah. Like, is it? Is it? Uh, like when you don't have photos because you were we're so in the moment. Yeah, yeah, and and my friends told me that, and I noticed that now. Like Jinho, sorry, I have nothing to post on your birthday because we've met how many times, <laughs> but I we never took photos. It's a good thing. It's a good, it's a thing, good thing, you know. Since taking photos of everything you do is your job. So. Yeah. And also, you know, for my day off, mm -hmm. I need a, you know, I need friends, my friends, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I like meeting my with my friends. At least for me, my work requires me to socialize a lot because I host, I do shows, mm -hmm. I hang out with other comedians. So my rest day is like alone time, yeah. recharge my social battery. So quiet quitting, well, at least I know it more from a corporate world perspective. You don't work as hard anymore, mm -hmm. but you work enough to get paid <laughs> like, uh -huh. what you're worth. Because you don't think you're being overworked, you're being burnt out that, okay, I don't want to give you all my time anymore. I'm just going to do what I'm paid to do. I'm not going to do overtime. I'm not going to volunteer any extra. Just going to do the bare minimum. Is, is there quiet quitting in the Philippines? Parang wala. Well, <laughs> there should you have be. have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if content creators can quiet with, but like sometimes for service workers I don't think you can Ang pangit lang. why do they call it quitting if it's knowing it's you're not, right? right exactly it's not quitting it's just doing what you're paid to yeah. do yeah. <laughs> but if I like my senior mm -hmm. or like my boss I can do it like as a volunteer mm -hmm. that's my style like it depends on the relationship I think yeah. that's not good in yeah, Korea but... I think quiet quitting is super super normal like as mm. in there were even like researches and articles about this matter where Gen Z's now, you know, like millennials would juggle one to two, three jobs to get something or achieve something they would love, right? Mm -hmm. Now the Gen Z mindset is like this. I don't need to work 12 hours and get more paid. I would rather work eight hours yeah, and rest less. more. Yeah. Yeah. Do you get it? Earn more with less effort. As you should. Honestly, older generations got so used to being overworked that they're shocked when Gen Z is like, oh, they they think they're just complaining. <laughs> But really, it's what's yeah. fair. I have a cousin who's a Gen Z, mm -hmm. who's a fresh grad, and she's transitioning from fresh grad to work right now, yeah, intern. Yeah. Okay. And I recently met her just like a few months ago, mm -hmm. and we, we had like a big family dinner. And my tita, so the older generation, like 50 plus, were debating with the cousin, and she's like 22, I think, 22 or 23. And I'm in between, you know? <laughs> And the argument was like really heated. The titas were like, how's your work? And then she would shut down that conversation right away. Get it? Oh, wow. Okay. Do you get it? Like, Very assertive. I don't want to talk about my work here. Our titas were like, oh my God, what the... Oh, 
She's, she's so rude. You know, like how you're senior, like let's say we're in office, right? Mm -hmm. We all work together. I am the boss or I am mm -hmm. real senior, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. When I ask Rio, hey, what are you doing after work? That's offensive. Oh. Okay, wow. Because your okay. conversation should not go beyond work. Work. Whoa. Like, oh. don't, you should not ask you me what I'm doing see. after work. Damn. No personal yeah. blurred lines. Yeah, but and Gen Z's would, Gen Z's would make stink eye right away. Like, why would you ask that? But in Japan, it's getting a yeah, common thing as well. And like, yeah, like, like yeah. this, like this. Gen Z's are scary. You are different. scary. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's like, the thing. I asked my cousin, so why is that offensive? And yeah. she replied, because if this person knows what I do on my breaks, this person might feel like he or she could tell me or what to do, what to do or know that I have time or not. Do you get it? Mm. So it's none of their freaking it's business. Two extremes exactly. there. <laughs> okay, I'm not fully there yet. But I get when Gen Z's try to defend them. Okay, this is a personal yeah. event. Let's not talk about work. But interesting. I know. I, I, They're very... How, how are you? What do you feel? So I'm more like Pinoy. Like, you know how Pinoy offices, kahit kayo, like, after work, you know, we would eat outside, yeah. ganun, right? In Korea? No. No, no there, there's a line. There's a line. Oh. Like, why should I eat with you after work yeah. when I could Even go home and rest and hang out with my friends? Yeah. Even your generation? My generation no. The younger. Yeah, the, the okay. hey, Gen Z pa rin ako. I'm still Gen Z. <laughs> you guys might feel like grabbing naman Koreans, Koreans, Gen Z's are like that pala. But honestly, I want to ask the Filipino late Gen yeah. Z's out there, corporate workers. Let's say you're supposed to work on only until 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. and then napa OT kayo. You guys did overtime. You guys went out of the office 8 p.m. and then suddenly your senior company dinner after this <laughs> across this office. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys like that or not? Would you be open for that or not? Honestly. I mean, knowing na, knowing na you could go home and you're tired. Yeah. It depends. It depends. Personally, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not I would also want to try to be a senior. But after that, I would consider it. Ah. So, yeah. she says that maybe the first few times, but later after they've bonded, oh, no more. Because yeah. the Philippines, there's a family culture. It's it's a we use term na familia tayo dito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that to some extent, it's nice. Your work friends are your personal friends, but sometimes it blurs that uh, line. Yeah. Too. Uh, but here, I think. Most Filipinos consider their work friends. And I think that Personal is also friends. like something that has to do with this topic. Yeah, work, yeah, yeah. life. Life happens mm -hmm. after work. So why That's should so someone I met from work be like asking life. for my time? If you don't want to yeah. go, just say no. <laughs> yeah, but, but no, no, that, that's possible here yeah. in the Philippines yeah. because we're like familia, familia. Yeah. But in Korea, there's our there are hierarchy. You cannot say no to your seniors. That's true. But and that was they'll my use generation. It, use it against you. Yeah, that was my no. generation. But the Gen Zs now, they're more assertive. They're more like, why? It makes sense it makes at sense. some extent, right? Sense. But at some extent, parang but at bro. one extreme, <laughs> you guys are so cold. You're yeah, wrong. it's cold. It's like, but just say no. It's yeah. Why yeah. it's so like make it complicated? Like, That's why some yeah. seniors yeah, in no. some seniors in Korea they're scared to say those kind of stuff. It's they're more careful yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. But we have the same you know culture in Japan mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, not so strict as a Korea. Korean. You were reacting like you don't agree, and then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but I, you know, enjoy your life. I mean, I wanna yeah, say you know, what day. happened when you are uh, at home, right? Go out. <laughs> That's my opinion. Yeah. Go out. Yeah. Eat dinner with senior, with your senior. Yeah. So long story yeah, short. If you don't want to go, just say no. That's it. Don't mm -hmm. ask why. There's no reason. Yeah. Just, you know. At the end of the day, it's out. up to you <laughs> yes. how to maintain work yeah. and life. Don't ask why. Yeah. They want to like have a dinner with you. That's yeah, it. Yeah, right? so just yeah. so you know, yeah. when you go to Korea for work, it's rude for a senior to say, let's do something after work. They get it? Yeah. But in the Philippines, if your boss is treating you, order the most expensive thing. <laughs> and that wraps up our episode on work-life balance. Ryan uh, Wolfgang yeah. after. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> okay, if you agree with anything we said or you want to add anything based on your work-life balance culture there, comment down below. And if you want to watch more videos, like, subscribe, and watch our next episodes. Bye! Thanks for watching! Bye-bye! Thank you for watching!